All right, Murdoch murder fans, it's time. After months of speculation, anticipation, and a steady drip of new evidence, murder charges are coming. And as expected, they're going to fall on the head of 53-year-old Alec Murdoch, the disgraced attorney who has been at the center of this still unfolding Southern Gothic drama, a maze of alleged criminality involving this man's powerful family, the law firm that it founded, and a host of powerful and influential accomplices and co-conspirators, institutions of justice in the South Carolina Low Country, which have been taken from their true purpose and used to profit this man and his associates. Now, from the very beginning of this saga, the case that has drawn national attention has been Mazelle. And again, that's the double homicide that occurred on the hunting property owned by the Murdoch family on the border of Colleton and Hampton counties in the South Carolina Low Country. There, on June 7, 2021, 52-year-old Maggie Murdoch and 22-year-old Paul Murdoch were found brutally murdered. Uh, Paul Murdoch sustained a gunshot, shotgun wound to the face and to the upper body. Maggie Murdoch was hit with multiple rifle shots, including a few which were allegedly ad administered as she lay on the ground dying. This crime didn't make sense from the very beginning, folks. In the immediate aftermath, police named no suspects, made no arrests, and immediately issued an announcement that there was no danger to the public. Now, what did all that mean? Well, in the first 48 hours of this investigation, our news outlet exclusively reported that Alec Murdoch was a person of interest in connection with the inquiries. Now, this created a storm of backlash on this news outlet. We were told, how dare we do this? How dare we accuse a grieving father and husband of these savage crimes? But again, we didn't accuse him. We merely said he was a person of interest. And in light of those aforementioned circumstances, the lack of any suspects, the lack of any danger to the public, it made sense. Now, over the intervening months, a steady stream of evidence has emerged, which tied Murdoch even closer to this, uh, this crime. I'm talking about forensic evidence, high velocity impact spatter. We're talking about video evidence, which according to our sources, contradicted the account of events that Murdoch gave to investigators. And we're talking about digital data, uh, cell phone data, uh, tower dumps, geofencing, all of which helped police, we're told, have a narrative of what may have happened on that fateful evening in the South Carolina Low Country. Obviously, this is the first stage of a long process. Uh, we've seen any number of dramas unfolding on the civil side of this case, and there are, as mentioned, multiple criminal investigations into Alec Murdoch, who, by the way, is currently incarcerated uh, in Richland County, South Carolina. He's already facing more than 80 financial charges allegations that he defrauded former clients and others of nearly $9 million. So he's already in jail on a $7 million surety bond. Uh, he will obviously have a bond hearing related to these additional charges when and if they are filed. And I want to talk briefly about that process because this is the breaking news that we'll be covering over the next few days. According to our sources, the murder indictments against Alec Murdoch will be processed in Colleton County by a grand jury of his peers in Colleton County, which is where this crime occurred. Now, this has surprised a lot of folks. Uh, after all, the statewide grand jury in Columbia, South Carolina has been hearing all of the Murdoch-related crimes up to this point, with the exception of a Labor Day attempted suicide involving Alec Murdoch and another co-conspirator. Those, those charges were heard down in Hampton County, South Carolina. But other than that, everything has gone through the South Carolina statewide grand jury which is run under the auspices of Attorney General Alan Wilson. Why is this case being heard down in Colleton County? Uh, we don't know. We don't know. It doesn't make much sense, to be honest, because according to our sources, those statewide grand jurors, they've not only heard the testimony about Alec Murdoch's financial crimes, but they've also been provided with a wealth of information related to these murders. So a, an interesting twist that we weren't really expecting. But count on this news outlet over the next 48 hours as these charges uh, are made public, we believe. Again, there's always the chance a grand jury could decline to indict Alec Murdoch on these charges. But we are told that, again, investigators and prosecutors will be presenting evidence implicating Alec Murdoch in the murder of his wife and son 
this week, this Thursday, as a matter of fact. Stay tuned for much more on this breaking news and all the Murdoch murders information on Fitz News.